It is a state program that dates back to the 1970s, designed to keep inmates from going back to prison once they're released. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders takes us to a correctional facility in Delano, where inmates are finding redemption through art. When you think of prison, our class may not be the first thing that pops into your mind, but behind these razor wired fences and concrete walls is a class teaching inmates that a blank canvas, along with their imagination, can lead to a new beginning. West of the 99 on the outskirts of Delano sits a harsh reality surrounded by razor wired fences. Eh, te distrae. Esto totalmente separa tu mente de lo que está allá adentro. And concrete walls. Because we can all hold a paintbrush, that's for sure. The Delano Modified Corrections Facility houses just under 600 inmates from around the state. It's also home to a makeshift classroom teaching art to those serving time. I've done some teaching gigs uh, here and there, but fully, you know, about four years. Alex Gallardo loves his work. So it really just kind of like overlaps it and just, you know, makes okay. it stand out. With more than 20 years of experience in the visual arts, he never thought his passion for art and teaching would lead him to working with students behind bars. I started working, uh, selling my artwork at First Fridays in Bakersfield. And uh, I met David Gordon, the art, uh, Arts Council of Current Director, and he offered me the uh, he offered me the job pretty much, and I applied, and uh, it, you know it happened. So it was a blessing. The program is a partnership between the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation and the California Arts Council. I see the impact because you know there's guys who who come in and they're kind of in their shell. They they don't really want to you know be around so much people, but as the weeks go by, they start to paint and they start to see how, how, you know, how beneficial this is. The program is designed to impact inmates by promoting interpersonal and social transformation, both inside and outside prison walls, as well as reduce the number of those returning to prison after they've been released. According to the 2018 CDCR recidivism report, 46.1% of those convicted returned to prison after serving time. I didn't even know I could do this. And with our teacher, Alex, He's been a wonderful teacher, and I've actually created 32 pictures. Today will be number 33. Al Condi is one of the 28 students in Alex's class, a collage of hard time coming together and finding a temporary escape from reality. We are able to lose ourselves in this artwork, in our own artistical place, and forget about everything that we have to go through while incarcerated. Many of his students picking up a brush for the first time. He told me be patient and just learn to use the brush and the paints and focus on what you are doing. Herberto Palacios has spent the last 12 years learning patience and as a father he's planning to share the skills he's learned with his children after he's released this year. To show them what I learned here, why not start with them? It's the most important. How can I show them as a father something that I learned here about patience and love and how everything that I desire I put here into a drawing or a cartoon or whatever and I show it first and foremost to my kids. For Alex, knowing that art is creating a new path for his students. Everybody deserves to have a second chance, you know, just because, you know, things have happened in the past. Brings a sense of fulfillment. It doesn't mean that we're the same individual, you know. Over time, we, especially with art, we, we, we kind of self-reflect and we kind of just uh, think of everything and we evolve. With every stroke of the brush comes a sense of inner freedom. Every single picture has that thought put into that. So my actions through these pictures hopefully have a beautiful destiny. In Delano, Josh Sanders, 23ABC News, connecting you.